the Java applets. Uh, before we move into the applets, uh, let us know something about uh, the applets. So applets are originally uh, bring into the market uh, to bring some dynamic functionality uh, to the web pages. Uh, before that, we have only HTML components. So with those uh, HTML components, we we are able to uh, show only static contents. Uh, we are not able to uh, click something or uh, to, to bring up some uh, interactive process. We need some dynamic functionalities. Those functionalities uh, will be included in the web pages with the help of applets only. So, uh, before we enter into the applets, uh, we need to know some uh, conventions related to uh, the, the header files. So, uh, whenever we start some applets, uh, we must include some header files. So, so, we just start with the import statements. So, import statements helps us to uh, bring those header features into our app. So, import java.awt.start. So, this abstract windowing toolkit helps us in uh, bringing all those uh, applet components into our uh, uh, picture. So, uh, these files are organized in such a manner that uh, we have a outer layer, we call it as Java. So, inside uh, that Java, uh, we have uh, plenty of packages. So, some of them are AWT, applet, Utility softwares, IO softwares, and many other softwares. Any other packages are included in the uh, Java package. So uh, inside those all those uh, packages, we have some files or some sub packages. We are offering these header files with the help of this import statement. So whenever I start with the import statement, I just use Java to refer this block. So after that, we have a sub package inside the Java package. We call it as Java dot awt. So this hierarchy. So inside those awt package, I use all those functions necessary to create some text boxes, check boxes, buttons, and everything else. So this is a startup work we need to do with the applets. So we, we need to include so some other uh, header files also. So some other header files are uh, java.applet.star, java.awt.listener uh, events. So we have to include all those things in the header files. So without using these header files, we are not able to uh, achieve better results. Okay. So in the next session, we uh, start with uh, uh, containers and the life cycle of 